Heathrow Rich is up next. Hello, Heathrow Rich. All right, Rich. How are you going, boys? All right. Yeah, we're good. How are you? I'm absolutely gutted. As Jason would, as Jason would, would know, because he's called me a disgrace about it before, but I'd, I've always lived opposite Brentford Football Ground around the corner from it, and I've like gone there since I, ever, ever I, was, a, since I was a kid. Like, I, I'm absolutely so gutted. I couldn't watch the rest of the match. I've had it with, I, at, right at this minute. What's I wrong? Feel like What's wrong? What are you on about? That, the... that VAR decision. See, Rich, you're also an Arsenal fan as well, so, I mean, you've got two reasons to really hate that decision. No, no, no. No, no you have. You've got two hats on, Rich. No, I haven't. Don't tell me what I've got on. Have you got two hats on? I've got on a raving arm, right? It, it's just a disgrace, right? As, as Andy rightly says, you can't see his foot. You cannot say that's a clear and obvious offside. It's not... He's it, offside, you can't Rich. See he's he's offside. offside, Rich. He's, he is, mate. It's, it, it's hard to take, but you've just got to take it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I absolutely feel just sick of football because you just, it's, look, in the long run, even, even if Brentford had got an equaliser, Tottenham would have probably gone on to win the game. But it's the manner of which it's just done. It's just sickening, it's just sickening watching it. It just puts you off watching football. I didn't watch the rest of the game. I, oh, I, can't I, we do a, it's because you're an Arsenal fan, Rich. Oh, it's bitter. really hurt you, Rich, isn't it? No, no, it's the, bit, it's the bitterness. It's Rich, it, Rich he's offside. Game. It's hard to take, OK? It's hard to accept. But you've got to, and and it's it's just the way the and world is. Do you think he was offside? I do, I do. I don't. Yeah, I do. Not, no, con- not conclusively. Now, yeah. All right. Well, to be honest, like VAR is ruining the game, and it's, it, it just is. Like, it's, what if it was for Arsenal? What if that was Arsenal in the FA Cup final against Chelsea last season, and Chelsea scored that goal? What would you, how would you feel? Uh, uh, well, uh, to be perfectly honest. I can't see yeah. that he's offside. No, so well, no. Answer the question: If that goal was given, and then Sorry? VAR, if that goal was was given and VAR, yeah. Lotus, they let us a goal. Look at the lines there. Look, he, actually, his knee is close at the goal. The How VAR do you feel? doesn't conclusively show that he was offside. So whether it's Arsenal or anybody else, or well, we'll the lines, it. Rich. We got look as, as much as it it kind of takes it away from what the football that we know. But you can't see his foot on the lines. You you can't see. Here's the thing: you cannot see the body part of Sissoko. And the body part there, of Tony. There you can an only angle, see the body part. There's an angle from behind the goal yeah, which the, tell, it shows you that his foot... But, the, it, but that it, angle, but, hold on, that angle behind the goal yeah. doesn't have the lines on. No, but it doesn't need it. Well, you I can see it. Does, I no, think it does. You've got two eyes in your head. Use I think, them. I think it does. No, it doesn't. It, it, look, it, oh my God, it, it's either you give it or you don't. If that goal had stood... There'll be Spurs fans phoning up now, moaning but it, about but VAR. But inconclusive. You said you're either pregnant or you're not. Yeah. There's, there's a stage Offside. where you don't know whether you're pregnant. Offside. Do you? Offside. Uh, are you pregnant? Yeah. Then I might uh, be. Well, give me a kit and I'll, t- and I'll test it and I'll tell you whether well, you're pregnant. Well, it's too early. No. You, no. Can only, you can only do the where, pregnancy where, where, kit. Where, where, when, when, when did you think you're pregnant then? When, was it, when uh, did it happen? What? Well, when do you think it happened? Well, f- I'm five weeks now and nothing's happened, so... I'm, well, I'm... Give me a kit and five, five well, weeks. Well, it's too early to find out. No, it's not. Five weeks will be out now. No. Yeah, you will. Five weeks. Easily five weeks. three weeks. Yeah, it's still not three no, you, weeks. No, you yeah, don't know you, three weeks. No, you don't. You do. Three weeks is too early. Three weeks, of course he's not. No, you could still be pregnant yeah. and, and the test no, might not come rubbish. back. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. I'll go Google that in a minute. How long does it take? I'll Google that in a minute. Now, you said before the break, you're either pregnant or you're not, right? Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, but you mm-hmm. might not know you're pregnant. Right now, just Google it. You should wait to take a pregnancy test until the week after you've missed your period for the most accurate result. So if you don't take it before... You've actually Googled it. Yeah. So what I'm saying is you can still be... You don't know if you're pregnant. A bit like that goal. That's not conclusive. You don't know. You don't know 100% you... he's offside. When did you have sex? Pardon? How long ago? What date was it? Give me the date. Uh, th- uh, th- three weeks ago. All right. What would that be? Yeah, I reckon you'd be... Pr- I reckon. Yeah, you, I reckon. There you go. That's up. like the goal. No, that's like the goal. Yeah, I yeah, reckon yeah, he was know, offside. You, you can't see his foot. I reckon. Yeah. Again. Yeah. You're not... You'd be an Definitely. awful doctor. Okay, Definitely. you be the doctor. Right? Am Def- I pregnant? pregnant. Um, yeah. <laughs> he's offside, mate. Oh, he's offside. Oh, hold on. Oh, You're pregnant? He's offside. You can't tell me I'm pregnant. You are. You, well, just, you've got no proof just, yet. It's just come up on it's, the stick. No, it hasn't. It just says you've got to wait till I've missed my next and period. And you've got triplets. <laughs> <laughs> that Brian, he's got something to answer for, hasn't he?